If these are the first 15 digits of a credit card, the last one has to be nine. What about this one? It has to be two. Spooky, right? No, it's math. Let's start with this number without the last digit. From the right side, double the digit. Two becomes four. Then four stays as it is. Again, double the next. Nine becomes 18. That's two digits, so add them. One plus eight equals nine. Next, three stays as it is. Five doubles to 10. Add the digits, we get one. Do the same for the rest, then add all the digits. The total is 61. Now, if the total has to end in the next multiple of 10, what digit should we add? Nine. Add it and the total becomes 70, perfectly divisible by 10. So nine must be the last digit. Now take this one. Ignore the last digit. From the right side, double the alternate digits, write the others as they are, and add them. To reach the next multiple of 10, add two. That's the last digit. That's how the last digit or check digit of most credit cards is calculated. It ensures a number isn't mistyped or fake. Change one digit and the math fails. Not just credit cards, even some ID numbers use this simple math test. Try it with your friends and family. Spook them and see if the check of 10 works.